Yeah, it's fine. I mean, it's it's only going to trigger people who are pr who pretend to have OCD, so I don't care about them. Um, <clears throat> alright, so round four. First match is three. Of course, the first match is always Al in Al in year 1230. And next, and Al will be fighting a catabodiatrist. We'll be facing Gab Squad's Baluti. I wonder who will win this one. Hey, I got the grid, Lexi. I knew you. Like, I, I was clicking it, and I saw someone say something. I knew someone was going to be saying grid. I'm already there. Total ham on the speed, but that was a total 2% hit from Baluti, though! Can't hit a firewall. Will Baluti be the first one to beat Catapatia? Let's find out. 3% slap, that one misses. 1% roll assault, that misses! And there's the fireball, that takes Baluti down to 36 health. Probably not going to be able to pull it back at this point. Now, Kata... Kata... Dupai trick... Has lost once, yes. It lost to the dragon. Alright, first match. After that 2% hit from Baluti, Cat just manages to uh, pull it back. Cat doesn't have the strongest attacks though, it's only got like the basic Thunderbolt, the Withering Tech, and uh, the Firewall. So while it has decent intelligence and a lot of speed, it doesn't have any health. So any monster that can endure the hits, and then hit back, even once, is probably going to do massive damage to Cat. I'm giving up trying to say his name, it's just Cat now. Press misses, everything misses, the Red Wisp, that misses, but Baluti's already down to 34 health. Red Wisp again. Doesn't get dodged, loses 29 guts, but also gets KO'd. Alright. First match of round four. Goes to Cat. Second match. It's player two versus player four. Gonna be my boy Raul. And Raul is gonna be fighting Art. Art is with the uh, Paragus. <laughs> yeah, let's go, Raul. With your 660 power. Oh, Paragus hits the first attack, it's a tail assault, but the right jab lands does twice Paragus' health. Fun fact, guys, as I, lead, as I load the rematch, I got Raul off, no, not that CD, this CD, the greatest Xmas, sorry, the ultimate Xmas album. And as I, as, so we got hit by a spit and then immediately just uh, hit another right jab.
Oh, I wish it could be Christmas every day. Okay, so Rail beats Paragus. It's four points for the double KO. Next up is seven and nine. One thing that does bug me about tournament scheduler.net is the fact that it doesn't put the lower player first. Like, when it lists them, it will say, like, player 3 versus player 8, and then it's player 4 versus player 2. Why doesn't it say player 2 then 4? Why are they not in, in numerical order? That bothers me. Actually, it's... I wish it could be Christmas every day even on this album. Let me check. Uh, White Christmas, Santa Claus coming to town. Does it snow? It does have uh, Wish It be Chris Could Be Christmas Every Day. It does. Track 4. <laughs> oh, a drill attack immediately taking Kakion down to a third of his health. But I'm talking about, that was, that was round 4. That happens in the first round. Oh, a foolery. Another foolery. That is a belly punch. It's hit a whip so far, then hits another. Uh, last wave hits another belly punch. The whip hits. Does 6 6 damage. Intense match so far. Kakin is going to come back. Oh, but the drill attack. Say what you want about Nagas. They do have that good skill growth. It's not the first um, turn of sort hit doing massive damage. Leaves it at 69. Nice. Um, but yeah, even with 100 loyalty, you can do foolery. It's not the first foolery we've seen in the tournament. Another drill attack. Kakion goes down. Up is ten and five. It's icy or skins. Maybe icy. AC can pull up, pull back this one. Try not to use ice sword too much. Pyramids at 32%, not not the worst. I'll say it once, say it again. I love Undines. They are like pixies, but better. And immediately an Aqua Wave. That's what you needed, I see. Immediate KO. It's nearly always KOs all round. Another co a cold geyser <laughs> and an immediate KO. There was there have been a few time ups, but it's mostly been KO so far. As such, this round it's all been double KOs. Up. We got 11 versus 12. It's Engines Monster. Engines Monster. Bodmin will be going up against Beezlebub. Why this thing has so much intelligence, I don't know. Because it doesn't have a single intelligence attack. Beezlebub trying to hit the uh, drain life immediately, just trying to end it, end it, ending it quick. Unfortunately, that misses. Bobman is now in a massive guts advantage. Thrustlaw doing two thirds of Beezlebub's health. 
That misses. Hit the toxic pollen. Most of these attacks are one in four to hit. That's only because you're winning, Moose. <laughs> and there's another Thrust Claw. He's above goes down. Will we get an all KO sweep this round? I wonder. Oh, my bad. Did you win the Halloween one? I forget what happened in the Halloween tournament. Ugh. Oh yes, that's so the ghost, you're right. Ugh. The Halloween tournament that took place in November. <laughs> oh, a slap is 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 uh, responded to by Slash Claw. And another one. First one crits, second one doesn't. Beezle up down to 24 health. Toxic Pollen not doing very much, because it misses another foolery. And in the final Slash Claw, Kato's basic power techs are very good. Decently strong. And that is, so far, it's been nothing but double KOs. Next up, 1 and 13, and this is the final match of this round. Oh no, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. Sorry, the buy was was 15 and 16, but um, neither of those entries are here. So, it's 13. 1 and 13. It's Zap. Zap's going to be going against Usuru. Very good skill. Questionable choice with the uh, ape. It's got good, a decent speed growth. The ape pair has four in speed. So you could have done a similar build to uh, to uh, cat's build. I beam misses with the anger. Even with that double uh, accuracy, it still misses. Roller Souls missed everything so far. Usuru's missed everything so, so far, I should say. Sad playing the easy mode hits the spit. Spit a very good attack. It's fast and decently powerful. How many guns it takes? And the grab throw! One hit kills Zap! With all of Zab's effort there, it looked like it was going to win, but nope. Comes back to the grab throw in the last few seconds. Oh, there's an I beam. Didn't crit though, a crit would have killed Usuru immediately. Oh, a 17% grab throw! Usuru getting a double KO! <laughs> yep, you don't need to be good at Monster Archie, you just need to be lucky. And for the final match in round four, it is six versus seven. It's the very scary Arcanist. And Arcanist will be taking on Stardust Wivens. Dope show. Reminiscent of the my first entry from the last Spartan Babies, uh, Spring Dust. Similar, similar sort of build, except mine. As you know, mine was very defense. It was defense based. Didn't go very well. Let's just 
just say that. It's a nice one-two punch. These are very accurate attacks, but wing attack there. Dobro's down to six health. Here's the back blow. Not quite doing much enough though. And there's a bite. Oh, but Dope Show can grit. Straight hits. Straight causes the anger. <laughs> Into a bite. Dope Show goes down again. This dragon is a friggin' bully. If it wasn't uh, for the fact that it's uh, Down Dembo who has submitted many times before, I might have checked it for cheating. But it looks like this was raised completely legit, guys. Oh, Tail Whip. Again, Dope Show Grits, but can, can it come back with one HP? Not with just straights, it can't. Alkanis is angry, gets hit by a back blow. Ooh, Dope Show dodges the wing attack though. He's got 20 seconds left. But gets hit by another and goes down. And round four has been nothing but KO sweeps. Including the most surprising one, which was Abeth uh, Usuru beating uh, Zap. Right, so, pull up the grid. 